So if you're watching this video, you may or may not have heard about this monitor. This is from a company called Eve, and uh, let's just say they don't have the best track record for sending out all of their customers the things that they paid for. Back when they released the two-in-one PC, a lot of people paid for it and uh, unfortunately did not receive it, or at least yet. But still, whenever they started raising funds for this monitor, I said, what the hell? I put in my $100 fully refundable deposit and um, I just kind of waited and just saw what, what would happen. Um, it took a while, uh, long enough for me to even forget that I even purchased the monitor. Uh, just uh, three weeks ago or two weeks ago, I got the email finalizing my actual final payment for the monitor. And um, about eight days later, the monitor arrived here and it's up and running. So let's go ahead and see the tech specs of this monitor and see what it can do. The monitor is an IPS panel with uh, HDMI 2.1, uh, which is obviously capable of 4K 144 Hertz. It also is um, HDR certified with HDR 10 and HDR 600. And I can attest whenever you are playing HDR games, it is super bright, super bright. This monitor is 27 inches diagonal and has a pixel density of 163 PPI. Uh, it has a peak HDR brightness of 750 nits and a typical brightness of about 450 nits. It does cover 98% of DCI-P3 color gamut and 100% of sRGB. G-Sync and FreeSync is built in straight to the monitor and is ready to go the second you plug it in. The back of the monitor does include a USB 3.1 Gen 2 with up to 10 gigabits a second. Um, there's even a power delivery of up to 100 watts, so this could charge your laptop as well. Um, and other devices too. The monitor does not have uh, built-in speakers as many other monitors do not as well. So you will have to use headphones or maybe just hook up some Bluetooth um, speakers and you're good to go. Now on paper, this thing is awesome. I mean, it, it ticks off every box that I wanted inside of a monitor, which is kind of why I got it. But is it perfect? Are there any flaws, any issues? Well, first let's go ahead and talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of classes to choose from, you'll certainly find one you love, whether it's to learn how to draw, edit videos, play the guitar, and just so much more. I recently finished a class from Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray on how to create cinematic videos with your phone, including all the apps that you need. If you guys love taking videos with your phone, I really recommend that class. Members get access to countless classes, and if you're a busy person, hey, I get it. Don't worry, Skillshare has a ton of classes that are under 60 minutes long to help you fit them into your busy schedule. The first thousand people to click the link below will get one month completely free. So start your summer learning adventure today. Now, before we get to the issues, because there is only technically, I mean, literally, not, not even technically, but literally one major issue that may be a deal breaker for you guys who want to really experience next gen the way it was intended to be played. Um, but first, let's talk about the unboxing. The unboxing was perfect. I mean, it, it looks like it's from a company that's been around for a while. Everything was packaged securely um, and even tastefully, I might add. They even included the color accuracy chart from their testing for all the tech heads out there. The monitor came with no scratches, dings, or any dead pixels. The build quality of the stand is 100% metal and you can immediately notice that it is very strong and sturdy. The monitor itself is plastic, which, you know, is, is to be expected. So look, I have to first say the good things, right? Uh, first of all, yes, this monitor does do 4K, 120 hertz. I've tested this out. It does work. Everything turns on perfectly. It runs smooth. There's no weird line going down the middle. Oh, what? Mitter? Down the middle like there was on Linus Tech Tips video, which he did six months ago. But that was a pre-production unit. So, yeah, obviously issues are going to occur. Uh, basically, I, I'm not having any issues that he's having or that he had. The biggest issue for me is the actual firmware of the panel it, it, it's 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 wonky it seems like it seems like it's not it seems like my xbox isn't recognizing that this is an hdr panel but it's doing so in the weirdest way that i've ever seen check it out so on the xbox if you click on 4k tv details the xbox series x will show you exactly what this monitor can and cannot do so as we see it clearly says that this monitor supports hdr 10 for gaming Great? No. 
The HDR works awesome. I mean, it does get incredibly bright, which is a good thing, aside from the fact that I literally cannot calibrate it. So everything is just overly bright. Even if I put the in-game uh, brightness down all the way, even if I put my monitor brightness down all the way, even if I mess around with the uh, with the contrast, doesn't matter. Everything is just bright like the everything, dude. You, you, you can't play the game. Now, you Xbox guys might be saying, well, Mark, duh, you have to calibrate it. I can't. When I click on HDR calibration, it tells me that this monitor doesn't support HDR for gaming. So does it or does it not? I'm getting confused here. I thought it was maybe a 4K 120 hertz kind of weird issue. So I put the monitor down even to 1080p 60 and it still wouldn't let me run the calibration. It doesn't matter. I could do 4K, uh, 4K 60 wouldn't do it. I can do 1440p 60 wouldn't do it. 1080p 60 wouldn't do it. 1080p 120 wouldn't do it. I don't know. On my PS5 HDR is showing up on the monitor settings. Uh, but again, I still cannot get HDR to work. I cannot, uh, I cannot calibrate it. You know, when you, when I, you know, when, how you calibrate HDR, uh, they show you a picture, one picture, so you're, you're barely supposed to see the other one. You're supposed to see perfectly, right? We all know this. We all have been through it, but I can't see nothing. I can't see no picture on the PS5 HDR calibration. I'm supposed to be seeing something according to the PS5, but I cannot see anything. And again, yes, I did try to put the brightness down didn't work. I tried to put the contrast up and down. Didn't work. Nothing's working. Now I did contact Eve and these are the screenshots. They agreed that the Xbox does support HDR on this monitor. So I don't know if I got a faulty unit. Um, but then again, it shouldn't really be a hardware issue. It's more likely a software issue. But if it is a software issue, that's even worse because that means every single person that bought this monitor won't be able to play HDR or at least not properly. I mean, not even close. Now I did put in a support ticket just to make it a little bit more official rather than DMing each other on Instagram, like a bunch of high school sweethearts. <laughs> that was weird. So I will definitely let you guys know with what they respond to. Um, and maybe this is a quick little firmware fix. Who, who knows? I, I really hope I don't have to send this monitor back because, but I mean, I don't really know why I have another monitor right there, right? It, it works perfectly. So I don't really care, but I really want to use this monitor because it's nice. The bezels are super nice and thin, uh, great overall construction. I mean, it really looks like a nice monitor. You also have some pretty cool gaming settings, such as putting a crosshair on the screen. You even have a frame rate counter and a response time overdrive. So since Eve is basically a startup company, I expect there to be issues. It's just gonna happen, especially from a startup company. Um, but if we look back to Linus uh, Tech Tips video uh, that he did on the pre-production model, I think from like last year, there were a ton of issues, man. I got scared. So again, I'm happy to say that none of what he was experiencing is on the actual final product, but it's still not working fully. Other than that, the gameplay is, is is fantastic. I mean, all the games play on there. There's no weird screen tearing. There's no jitters. Again, there's no dead pixels. Overall, it's it's a great panel. I mean, just God damn it. I really wish HDR worked. That, that's all I want. That's all I wish for. Again, I will keep you guys up to date on what exactly happens. Hopefully again, <laughs> hopefully it's just a simple firmware fix. Hopefully. I mean, I already waited a year for this monitor. I don't, I don't want to send it back. So we'll, we'll see. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know down below. I'll answer all of them as soon as I can. Um, that's it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.